Hello guys, welcome back to one more video and in this video we'll be discussing about XSS payloads and their bypass. Before going to the video where I'm transmits here, we have launched the second batch of master course for bug bounty and that's a particularly focused 50 day sessions from bug bounty from very basic to advanced things. So you can also take a look on all the contents here. Apart from the contents, you can also take a look on all the reviews I'm gonna mention here. And also a lot of resources, POC collections and many more things will be shared into it. So make sure you take a look on the link in the description. And also if you're looking into the one-on-one -on -one training, so make sure you take a look on the link. For one-on-one -on -one trainings, you can book a call, figure out your issues and then you can proceed. So that was for the promotions. Let's get the video. So here we are on our screen now. And first of all, before going starting the main video, let me tell you a thing that yes, payload matters on or when it comes to finding accesses or any other security issues. But one more thing, it's not only about parameters or only about the accesses or, or the payloads we use. It's all about how the website is handling our input. So we have done a lot of live in the previous sessions and I hope you guys already understand how things are getting sanitized how you need to observe things there like suppose you can enter a simple payload of img src equals to x and now you need to observe how our angle brackets how our space is getting handled what type of tags are getting used to just display the text via input right so it's all about how you observe the website how the website handles it all and how the web application is configured that we can try access as in such way so until and unless you do observation, I will not say that putting thousands of payload will work until you find the right technique for it. Alright, but still, here we have like few collections of payloads that you can definitely use. So, first of all we have this Coffin XP. Right, so this is a friend of me who is also having a channel on YouTube with name Lost Sec. You can definitely check it for sure. Now he's having a lot of um, payloads like this with a file name with some sort of you know you can just say image payloads technically but yeah you can just merge it to accesses using them right because I have found a lot of accesses using this type of images. As you guys can see we have made some recent videos on it too so you can also take a look on that one too. Right you can definitely take a look on this excess payload from Coffin XP no doubts to it. And also you can take a look on his whole profile. You can find the few repositories are there which is having some GF patterns from nuclei templates so make sure you take a look on all the whole profile and don't forget to subscribe to his channel. Now, Nextly we have payload of all things now see when it comes to any type of payload for any bug we can't forget payload of all things right So that's a whole complete cheat sheet for it but still there's a lot of payloads lot of bypasses and all these things are mentioned here Which might be having a very very good explanation that you might want for your Explorations of a bug so make sure you take a look on this one too Right, there's a very very good explanation of it too. You can just see for CRS and all this type of things, how to get a pop-up, how to do other or escalations from this thing, how to do blind inject, blind escalation, uh, blind access injections. So all that type of things are mentioned here, and make sure you take a look on payload of all things. The third one we might be having, which is awesome accesses. Right, that's obviously a good one. It's a collection of access resources. And lot of more things that might be helpful for like all the awesome payloads are here, polygots here. Right, then there is also explanation for all the probings, all the other techniques, right. What's What if this sign is enabled, disabled, so there is a few things mentioned here that might be very useful for us. Encodings, descriptions, all these types of things are also mentioned here. So and make sure you can use them 
to create or craft payloads for escalations or for exploitations or even for post exploitations then we have one more which is xss payload list obviously it's a intruder based list as you guys can see even have a look on it here that might help when you're trying to put a big number of payload in your testing format and then here is one of mine like see it's really hard to find all the payloads from one by one by one in this sublime i just paste them on github and i just made this randomly public because i was having i was having it from a long time now see these are all the excess payload that has ever worked for me in the last one year because i just clean sublime once a year all right so i'm just having them all of them in a single row so you can definitely take a look on this one too and also for more resources about xss we have already made a whole xss course giveaway if you want me to post that giveaway again just let me know i'll just make my five hour xss course public on youtube i won't be having much of a issue on it so if you also want that just let me know in the comment section and we are too close to 5000 subscribers so make sure you take a look on subscribe button and if we get to 5k subscriber before i post this video thanks a lot for it everyone we are on the final mark of 5k so i guess that was for the video don't forget to take a look on the courses and the one on one trainings in the description and see you guys in the upcoming video have a great day